Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to stream live video on Facebook using Raspberry Pi in the simplest way. So let's get started. So for this tutorial, we need a Raspberry Pi and a Raspberry Pi camera. So we have to insert the Raspberry Pi camera into a Raspberry Pi and we have to insert that in this port. And so firstly, uh, pull up on the edges of the ports plastic clip like this and then we have to insert the camera ribbon into it and uh, like this okay make sure that the silver side in this way and make sure the cable is in the right way around and uh, insert like this and finally push the plastic clip back into the place and that's it and that's all about the hardware and now let's get into the software part so first let me get into the pi so for that here i am using putty so in the ip you write raspberry pi dot local and in the port you write 22 and now open and here you write pi as the username and raspberry as the default password now at first we have to enable the camera if you haven't already enabled that so for that write sudo raspi config and uh, in the option go to the interface option and here you go to the camera and now here enable the camera and, uh, and then you have to press here ok and finally you clear your finish so if you are doing it for the first time then you have to reboot your pi once and after you reboot the pi you are good to go to use the camera so for the live stream you have to you install one library so for this copy this code so you have to install ffmpeg library so so the app get install ffmpeg and uh, install this now after installing this we have to create a facebook page now i have already created one so create your own facebook page and then go to the publishing tools like this and in the publishing tools page go to the video library and after going to the video library here click in the plus live so you need a page to go into the facebook live you can do it your personal account so make your own page and then do this now you can see the screen so here the important thing is this key the persistent stream keys because using this key we are going to this is a unique key and using this we are we are using in our code so that we can get live and uh, then we have to copy this code and use in our code okay so now let's write the code here so so here this is the command we need to use so i put the command in the description so you don't need to write it you can copy it from there so you will talk about the few parameters of the command later so before that let's run this command and see what happens so here in the last so here you have to edit this part so in the last of the command you have to add uh, the key in inverted commas like this so here the commas are very much important because without those it's not going to work so make sure and then click enter and now it will take few seconds so before sending the data to initialize few things and uh, now as you can see it has started to sending the data now very soon you will see the preview so it's not so currently it's not live we are only able to see the preview so basically you can only see the preview no one else in your page can see this okay so as you can see it is sending the data and we can see the preview now to make this available in your page and uh, live you need to click in the go to live button so here i am clicking on it and as you can see and now it's live and you can see it from your page also so it will take few seconds and uh, now as you can see it's live and uh, now everyone in your page can see this so if i go to the page and uh, refresh it so let me refresh this and after refreshing it as you can uh, see yes you can see yeah live stream is live so basically means it's working now if you click in the video we will we can see the live video from here so as you can see so here 
uh, there is little bit latency because my internet speed is not that good but if you have a better internet speed then there will be much lesser latency now as you can see the leaves of the trees are moving so basically it's the live video and also you can see my hand so it's working just properly now to end this live stream either you click in the end live button or you can press ctrl c in the terminal so here i'm clicking in this button and as soon as i click in this button and press yes and uh, it will be the end of a live video like this okay so yeah now let's talk about the parameters in the command which you can modify according to your needs so at first t0 means it will record the video until you manually stop the program so here you can mention any number of seconds if you want to record for a particular time now uh, fps means the frames per second as you know and you can change it according to your needs then b basically means bitrate limit so the standards are generally 400 to 600 kbps so here we are using 500 kbps so you can change it anyway and uh, this whole part basically adds a dummy audio channel filled with zero data so it's not necessary for facebook anyway but still it's not bad if you add it and then we have g50 which basically adds a keyframe after every 50 frames now you can also mention the height and width using the w and h parameter so basically you can write w4 uh, 640 and h480 which will resize the video into 640 into 480 and also you can uh, flip the image using vf and hf so which will basically flip your image vertically or horizontally so thank you for watching and i generally upload one video per week so make sure that you have subscribed to my channel for future videos and so see you on the next time